Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. So you're gonna need some ghee butter. You can get at the grocery store. Next up is aloe vera gel. I get mine from Lily of the Desert. Next you're gonna need some organic honey. And lastly, you're going to need some coconut oil, preferably virgin and unrefined. Also, I'm adding my DIY Ayurvedic oil. It's infused with neem, fenugreek, and brahmi. So first, you're going to start a hot water bath just so you can melt all of the ingredients together. You don't want to use a microwave because... Um, you lose a lot of the nutritional value of the um, ingredients so you definitely want to make sure you do the double boiling method I just used a kettle filled with boiling water instead but you can also do this on the stove top just make sure that the oils are again in like a water bath so I'm just gonna take um, about two ish I'm heaping tablespoons of my coconut oil. No oil left behind, sis. <laughs> Next, you're gonna take your ghee butter. Um, ghee, like the coconut oil, is going to be used to add some slip. Um, yeah, you can either get ghee as like a paste butter, um, or you can just opt to go to the grocery store. There's, so yeah, I just opted to get mine from the grocery store. Um, ghee is just a clarified butter, so you're going to get a lot of um, milk protein. You're also going to get, again, a lot of slip. It's usually used to aid in detangling. So it makes a great ingredient to add into a pre-poo, especially if you have a lot of tangles from the week. So I'm just going to scoop out about three-ish um, spoonfuls or teaspoons. You don't have to refrigerate ghee and I suggest not doing it. I put it in the refrigerator for a little bit and it made it a little harder. Next I'm going to take my DIY oil. Please comment down below if you'd like to see that. But in short I infused brahmi, fenugreek, and neem into sesame and coconut oil. Um, I let it sit and then I just strained the powders from the oil. But you can use any oil that you prefer, um, or commercial brand oil, or the oil from my um, other DIY um, about a month ago. Next, you're going to want to add your honey. Honey is an amazing humectant, which makes it great for a pre-poo. I add honey to my conditioners, my pre-poos, you name it. It's a great and expensive way to boost your product. So I'm going to do about one teaspoon of honey. And last but certainly not least, you're going to add your aloe vera gel. Aloe is great for the, the scalp. Um, it promotes hair growth, it's soothing, um, and it's also just an amazing um, product to add to your glosses, to your pre-poos, um, to your water spritzes. So once that's done, you're just going to stir it until it melts. Um, you may have a little bit of bits of the butter, depending on how solid it is. Um, that should melt in time. If it doesn't, you can strain it, um, but I find that it, it did melt a lot during the application process and just shaking it up a bit. So this is day six or seven hair. It was in a protective style. Um, it was in braid, two braids and then it was in a bun. Um, so it's very shrunken, very tangly. Um, yeah, I find that it's more tangled. Than, when I do two braids, it's more tangled than when I just opt for 
two strand twist all over my head so honestly it's not my favorite protective style um, but yeah I'm just parting it as usual before I apply the pre-poo so I do recommend of course spraying your hair with um, a spritz I'm using aloe mixed with warm water if you're high, low porosity, you definitely want to do this to open up the cuticle. Otherwise, it's just going to sit on top and it's not going to penetrate. So first, I apply my pre-poo to the scalp. I just added my pre-poo to an applicator bottle that I already had. Next, you're going to um, apply it to the hair. As you can see, it's starting to melt my tangles away. Um, and I really, really recommend this pre-poo. Plus, it's all natural and pretty inexpensive. The ghee cost me about three bucks at Trader Joe's. Um, the aloe vera is pretty inexpensive. Coconut oil is one of the cheapest oils around. Um, and the most expensive, I guess, item could be the oil. But again, I got my powders from a local Indian shop. So each powder was only two bucks. So this is a great inexpensive way um, to get a pre-poo in. You get great benefits. You get some strengthening properties, you get some moisturizing properties, and you get added slip. Um, you can leave this in overnight, but I just left it in for about two hours. This is my hair with the pre-poo rinsed out. As you can see, I've got a little bit of definition there, um, and it looks it was pretty moisturized from all the oils. So this is just a sneak peek. I did apply a gloss with moringa and amla powder. If you want to see that video, please let me know. Um, but I'm just showing you guys how I applied that. Um, just to show you the poppage of my curls, um, the detangling, the slip, and I really, really love that mask. I definitely suggest um, purchasing some powders, adding it to your favorite deep conditioner with um, your oil of choice, and you just have a bomb um, Ayurvedic treatment without having to do um, too much of the work and there was not that much mess as you can see I wasn't getting it everywhere um, since it was a more thick cream so that concludes the video please comment down below your favorite pre-poo treatments um, give this a like again comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one bye